Hi folks, we're going to work on some Chapter 6 homework problems, and here we go. A car travels around a circular track with a radius of 2.60 kilometers at a constant speed. It takes the car six minutes to go completely around the track, and what is the centripetal acceleration on the car? So, as always, let's begin with what we know. We are looking for centripetal acceleration. That's our unknown. Um, it is a circular track. It has a radius of 2.60 kilometers, and the time for it to go around once is 6.00 meters. Now, in our centripetal acceleration equations, we have two versions of those. We have centripetal acceleration is v squared over r, and centripetal acceleration is 4 pi squared r over t squared. So we've got a couple different choices of which version we can use. Um, I am tempted to go back to the definition of velocity. Um, how long does it take for something to go around in a circle? The velocity to go around a circle um, is the displacement to go around a circle divided by time. Well, distance around a circle is circumference to pi r, and uh, t is the time to go around in a circle. So that's going to be how long it takes to go around. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, radius, we've got 2.60 kilometers. We know that that's not necessarily the best unit, so let's go ahead and convert kilometers into meters. If I go boom, 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 and change that decimal, that's going to be 2,600 meters. That's going to be my new radius. And you and I both know that we're going to prefer seconds over minutes, so let's get rid of minutes and go into seconds. There's 60 seconds in a minute. So 60 and get rid of minutes. 60 times 6, we're going to end up with a time of 360 seconds is going to be the time to go around, and that's going to be my radius. Well, if I go through the juxtapositions of calculating velocity and squaring it and putting it in this equation, that's going to give me something that looks a lot like this. And that's where that excel, uh, centripetal acceleration equation actually came from in the first place. So that's why that centripetal acceleration equation is so handy. Uh, 4 pi square r is the radius and t, the period, is the time to go around. And so let's go ahead and just put in what we know. 4 pi squared, the radius we found was 2,600 meters, and the time to go around once was 360 seconds, but we have to square that bottom. So I'm going to grab my calculator, and I'm going to do 4 times pi square my pi times 2600 divided by 360 quantity squared and I ended up with a value of centripetal acceleration of 0 0.792 top is meters bottom is seconds quantity squared meters per second squared are acceleration units hallelujah that's what we like okay let's do another one Problem number two, a child of mass 35 kilograms is sitting 1.10 meters from the center of a circus merry-go-round. This is the type of merry-go-round with the horses that kids sit on and then you go down, up and down as the children ride in a circle. The merry-go-round has a tangential speed of 1.25 meters per second. So here's what we've got. Here's my little doo -doo 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 circus merry-go-round. We've got Junior sitting on a little horsey. I'm going to try and draw a horsey. That's never a pretty thing. And our child is 1.1 uh, 1 meters. So radius is 1.10 meters from the center. The mass of the child is 35.0 kilograms. And the tangential velocity is 1.25 meters per second. All right, what is the centripetal acceleration on the child? 
So we take a look at what pieces of information we have, and we're looking for centripetal acceleration. Now, equations for centripetal acceleration, we have v squared over r, and we have v, we have r, that looks pretty easy. So v squared is 1.25 meters per second. Square that divided by radius, 1.10 meters. And when I do that, let's grab my calculator, 1.25 squared divided by 1.1, I end up with 1.42 um, meters per second squared happens to be the centripetal acceleration of the child. What is the net centripetal force acting on the child? Now, the centripetal force acts in the direction of the centripetal acceleration. So centripetal force is going to be mass times centripetal acceleration. So we now know centripetal acceleration, so centripetal force is going to be the child's mass 35 kilograms times the centripetal acceleration, 1.42 meters per second squared. So we're going to multiply that by my 35, and I get 49.7 kilogram meters per second squared, which is newtons, and that is my centripetal force. Lastly, part C, hypothesize what is causing the centripetal force acting on the child? What is pulling him towards the center of the circle? Probably in this case, it is either going to be a frictional force between his little wee bottom and the horsey, or there is a tension strap um, holding him on the horsey so he doesn't go flying off into space. All right, I think we have time maybe for one more. Let's do the problem three. How long does it take? How long does it take? Looks like we're looking for time of some sort. An airplane that is flying at a constant speed, so we have a speed of 120 meters per second, to fly once around a circle with a radius of 2,500 meters. So we have a circular motion, so we have circular motion. The radius is 2,500 meters. We have tangential velocity of 120 meters per second is my tangential velocity. We want to know time. Well, we are actually going to look at velocity in a circle. Velocity is displacement divided by time. The distance you travel in a circle is 2 pi r, that is circumference, the distance around a circle, divided by time. So that's going to give me my velocity. That's the equation we're going to look at. I'm going to solve this little beastie for time. So time is going to be 2 pi r divided by velocity. Let's go ahead and do give myself a little more room here. So time is going to be 2 pi, the radius 2,500 meters. The velocity is 120 meters per second. Grab a calculator here. I'm going to have 2 times pi times 2,500 divided by 120, and I end up with 131 seconds when I round it off for three sig figs, and that is the time it will take to fly around. Um, two minutes and about 11 seconds will do it. All right, that will do for those. See you later. Bye-bye.